hi everybody welcome to our new video today we're gonna show you uh, one of the most uh, challenging things uh, MySQL uh, in MySQL so I was optimizing the database and uh, I came across this uh, word error so which we're going to see here um, I came across this table does not support optimize doing whatever whatever but then when I go to this table this table did optimize and it told me no not that one I'm gonna get you another table which did optimize I should get one I'm gonna get you most of them they did optimize but there's the one which said which optimized show you one which agreed on what we asked to do okay uh -huh, you can see this table it says uh, optimization status table is already is already up to date you get me this one so this one accepted everything which is fine you get me so uh, since that is all okay so it's fine so now I'm gonna show you how it happened and uh, I'm gonna show you how we can we bypass that for instance this time I'm gonna deal with another database but it has the same exact name and whatever everything so I'm gonna go to this database I uh, it's still loading let's wait okay after when it has loaded I'm gonna optimize all tables I'm gonna check everything then I'm gonna show you why it's happening and what can you do so we say go to optimize table okay 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 we optimizing the tables I'll show you the same table is the only one which is gonna be fine. So other tables uh, might be a stress, but then we have a way how to try to bypass that. Might take a longer because my DB is big, quite big. It's gonna be fine gonna be fine soon sorry about that it's gonna take not that long but it's gonna be fine soon very soon please be patient I would have paused the video but what if something else also happened so you wouldn't see that so let's wait a bit it's gonna be fine Getting there, getting there. <laughs> the 
let's wait a bit. The database is big, it has over 60 tables. So that's the reason why it's uh, taking time, but it's gonna be fine. Let me see. Since it's done, you can see all the tables are giving us the same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. You can see uh, this table. <coughs> Topics. Um, look at this table, what it did. This table is fine. Once you see a table, it doesn't have a second table and it doesn't tell it tells you okay it means it's fine this one was fixed fine get me 100 uh, percent so other tables you can see the one two what optimization does it creates another table for you then it copy all the stuff from an old table then it put it here in the new table then it deletes the old table so this one was done you can see that's why there's one these ones you see the temporary table is still there that's why it tells you table does not uh support optimization table does not support optimization what does it mean i'm gonna give you that we're gonna look into this table and uh, another table there's another table which one i talked about uh this is the table we talked about you can see this this table uh also is fine doesn't have any double doubles so it says okay so <coughs> since we're there uh what we're gonna do, we're gonna look into this table. Uh, let's leave optimization. You can see this is the, the table type. Um, I'm gonna say what, is, yeah, this is the table. I'm gonna get you that table. Uh, I wanna see, how can we click on that table? So now, uh, <coughs> we're gonna go back to uh, structure and you go to that database. Um, you can see all these tables are in ODBs. In ODB, in o, in o, in ODB, in ODB. So, the reason why your tables do not um, optimize because they are in ODB. So, this is the table. Remember, we copy here salary, uh, TBL salary type. It's my ISM. So, my ISM accepts what what they call optimization. So, <coughs> I'm gonna select this table, one table only. This one. Uh, let me go down. No, it's, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna collect TBL sites. It's a uh, in ODB type. You're gonna see the behaviors. I'm gonna go and select. It won't take time because it's uh, just one table. So I'm gonna go and save optimize. It's gonna just take a few seconds. You can see it says table does not support whatever because it's what it's a uh, it's a uh, in ODB. So since it's in a DB it won't. So I'm gonna show you what to do. But then also I'm gonna show you the my ISAM table, uh, which gonna be optimized. It won't give us prompt. This one, the one we did, select that stamp. Select that table. You can see when we follow it is my ISAM. The second one to us in a DB. So once we're here, we're gonna go and select uh, what they call optimization. Say optimize table, and you can see it says this table already up to date. Simply means it was up optimized so right so you've seen that so what do we do now so what we're gonna do the simplest way to do that to me i will go and go to the table i want to optimize remember that table it said doesn't support uh that's the table sites whatever i'm gonna go to this table uh table sites is in odb what i do i'm gonna click on the table and i go to what they call operations and from operations, I'm gonna select in ODB to change it to my ISAM. Then I'll go. It says, yo, it didn't give me that chance. Okay. Um, okay, it's, it cannot change tables storage engine because the, the what? The practicals in a foreign DB constraint, whatever. Okay, that's the, that's the problem, okay. Why? Because there are some some things already into that. So 
the easiest way now to do that table is to I'm gonna give you something else how to copy that you're gonna just copy it into something else that's gonna be better way much better so it's gonna be some kind of optimization we're gonna create the same table again and uh, then we copy it into another table then we delete that table right yes okay so what are we gonna do we're gonna go here um, sites okay <coughs> I've got some codes to do that by automation um, I'm gonna go here and uh, go here and uh, okay we're gonna do get that we wanna do the same thing but we're gonna do it by automation so I'm gonna get you some uh, to do list I'm gonna get you something better uh, USB command uh, we're gonna see MD copy table okay I'm gonna get you these commands that's what we're gonna use okay so once we use them I'm gonna save this but if you don't have data there which is already created so it's gonna do what unless if you do drop all those constraints first then you put them back that could help you <coughs> like you drop the foreign keys then you make the table my assume then you optimize it okay it's a lot of work but that's one of the things you can do so I'm gonna do this I wanna copy all these this information here say copy <coughs> look at the code the way I'm gonna do it uh, because manually it's possible but it could take us more time here and some people might complain that we're taking a lot of time so what we're gonna do here we're gonna take this site okay this is the, 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 the first table which you're gonna put and say table that's a table a oh no the table b the new table we're gonna make it 33 okay no we're gonna make it one two three one two three okay then we come inside here we put the new table like this new table right so when we come back here we can put also the new table here that's right then after we take also the old table here and uh, we put it here that's right after doing that then we delete this guy here okay we're gonna copy a copy of the table we have now now so we're gonna go and say go we're done making a copy so when we go here we're gonna find that table right um, let me go here so we're gonna look for that table the copy table copy cut of that table is gonna be one two three you can see this is the original table this is the table so what we do we go to this table here it's already almost like opt optimized that's what we think we did we did so anyway you can try and uh, try to change it to my item well it's changed you can see since it's changed it has everything so you still remain with your original table so now on this one what you're gonna do you're gonna go back to your database uh, since that is an ISAM table after doing that go to this table and select it right after selecting it um, then optimize it okay optimize table right you can see we've optimized that table okay a couple of steps but they can help you do what you want so after doing that you're gonna go back to that table right uh, <coughs> we've optimized that table so now the one two three table please get me get get me there it's here you click on that table again you change it back to its uh, original state which is in ODB uh, make it in ODB and say go well we're done so it's now in ODB and it's optimized so what we do we go back here 
uh, down and uh, <coughs> we get this table you can see it's in ODB it's optimized and the original table is not optimized so what we do we go to original table here and uh, we go to operations and then what we do we rename that table to one two three delete okay we reminding ourselves that we have to delete that table we save that table okay since we've saved it we go back here um, to our DB and scroll down 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 we get that table right one two three delete but now we need this one two three you go back to one two three um, <coughs> you go to operations and rename that table to what we had before in the beginning okay With TBL sites then we say go the table is renamed guys get me so when you go to your DB we can go and scroll down um, after scrolling down we can see that we have TBL sites then after that then we can we can delete this guy the table which we don't want anymore and we say delete okay we drop that table right it doesn't give us that chance <laughs> okay that could be for next time but uh, we can delete that anyway so one two three doesn't have anything in us but right we did we can drop that but anyway it, it might take us time but it's okay what we've done we renamed a new table by auto auto then we 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 changed the table name then we made a temporary table then we made change the engine then we optimized the new table which has all the content anyway then we renamed the old table then we renamed the new table back to what was the original name that's that's that's, that's it that's what we done thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and uh, if i made anything which you didn't like please notify us in the comment box below don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you in the next video but don't forget also to share our